Hi there! This video is intended to help you better understand your sum and search results. In this video, you'll learn more about the resources in your search results and how to access those items. So, let's start by saying I'm interested in researching climate change. A basic sum and search will often show you a large number of results, as well as a variety of resources. At the top of this page, you can see that Summon even provides database recommendations for your topic, as well as a blurb about the topic from a book on the right-hand side of the page. Scrolling through the results, we come across an ebook. Here you can see that we actually have a physical copy of the book as well. To access the ebook, you can just click on the title of the book. Or you can just click where it says Full Text Online. If you're interested in the physical book itself, you can see its availability next to the catalog number, which is what lets us know where the book can be found on the library. If you click on the hyperlink, you'll get taken to this page where you can request it to be pulled for you. Going back to the top of our list, we see a journal article. The article's title is hyperlinked at the top. Clicking on this link will take you to the article itself. You can also get to the article by clicking on Full Text Online. Below the title, you can see the names of the article's authors. Below the authors, we see the journal title as well as the volume and issue number. Clicking on the Preview button will show you the article's abstract or summary, Judging by the use of formal language and the article's report of an empirical analysis, we can verify that this is indeed an academic journal article and not the type of article usually aimed at a general audience. Web resources are also another type of resource you might see in your search results. These can be streaming videos or blog posts like this one. You're also likely to come across reference materials like entries and online encyclopedias. These can be accessed by clicking on the title of a resource. Let's talk about the icons to the right of our results. You can click on the bookmark icon, which will then save the item to a temporary folder. The chain icon will provide you with a permanent link to the resource itself. The quotation mark icon will give you some citation options and the envelope icon will allow you to email the resource directly to yourself.